Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ben, this is Books with Bengus Khan, and this is the craziest TBR video you will ever see. So I am a rabid mood reader. I never plan out what I'm gonna read, but I love accumulating books. So I have about five to six years worth of books on hand, and I want to know what you think I should read this year in 2023. So let me know in the comments which of these that you're gonna see are some of your S tier series, the ones that are treasures for you. I wanna know, I wanna get the pulse of the people and help me decide what to pick up because I sometimes am just paralyzed when I'm at the end of a series or wanting to try something new about what to choose because I have so many options. So help me out, tell me what you think I should do and I'll show you what I have to offer. So I'm gonna go by genre. So I'll start with the ones that I have the fewest in and then we'll make our way to epic fantasy where I have just an obscene amount of books on the TBR. So let's start with urban fantasy. This is a genre that I love with the Dresden Files being one of my favorite series, but I've tried very few in that genre space and I wanna try more. So here are some that I have. This is Monster Hunter International by Larry Correa and then Faded by Ben and Jacka, the Alex Veris series. I think that's heavily inspired by Dresden. Then we have The Dead Jinn Universe by P. Jelly Clark. Want to get into that one. Peter McLean's Priest of Lies. Uh, this is The War for the Rose Throne, I think. Priest of Bones might be book one. And then a little bit of an older one. This is the Vlad Taltos series by Stephen Brust. All right, let's move to historical fiction, which I've just gotten into this year with Bernard Cornwell, and now I'm a huge fan, so I wanna definitely dive into lots more series. And this is gonna be rapid fire because I have so many books. This is The Lyman Chronicles by Dorothy Dunnett, Game of Kings book one. The Asian Saga by James Clavell. Shogun is having a big read along on booktube soon. I think I'm about to pick this one up, so very excited. Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel, and this is a classic in the genre, has a, a few books in the series. Then more Cornwell, I can't wait to do The Last Kingdom. And then Khan Igledin, an author I'm very excited to try. We have his Genghis Khan series, which I've kind of named my channel after, so I have to read this one, I think, soon. His Wars of the Roses series. Kana Golden's Athenian series, The Gates of Athens there. His Conqueror series, I think that's the Kubla Khan sequel to the Genghis Khan series. And Kana Golden's Emperor series, I think about Julius Caesar. So, which of those do you think I should try? All right, we are moving into sci-fi. I have The Dispossessed here to represent Ursula Le Guin's The Hainish Cycle books. They're kind of standalones, but all connected. So I'll count it as a series. And then Lois McMaster Bujold's Vorkosigan Saga. It's a long one, and uh, excited to try that. John Scalzi's The Collapsing Empire. I think that's part of the Interdependency Trilogy. I enjoyed Old Man's War, but didn't love it. I'm hoping this more recent one is a tighter trilogy. Now a book from the Revelation Space series. I don't have book one of that yet. Got a few at a used bookstore. This is Alistair Reynolds. I'm excited to try a lot more hard sci-fi and the big heavy hitters in that genre that I've kind of missed between the Golden Age authors I've tried and the more recent ones. So, excited for that. Here's one by Becky Chambers. That is the Wayfarer series, Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. More cozy sci-fi, like changing things up every now and then. And here is a book, Surface Detail, from the Culture series by Ian M. Banks. Kate Elliott's Unconquerable Son. Not sure what the series is on that one, but it's supposed to be a female Alexander Great in space. Love that premise. Peter F. Hamilton's Pandora Star. That's the first book in the Commonwealth Saga. Supposed to be a doozy of a book there. Maybe something a little less heavy with Brandon Sanderson's Skyward books. And something I know very little about, The Last Watch, a novel of the Divide series by J.S. Dews. We have a classic that's Book of the New Sun by Gene Wolfe. 
Tad Williams Other Lens series. High priority one for me, Adrian Tchaikovsky's Children of Time. I loved Shadows of the App series. Want to discover his sci-fi. And then Steven Erickson's Willful Child. I think this is more like a satire of Star Trek. I'm not a Star Trek watcher, so I don't know how this is going to go over, but it's written by Erickson. That wraps up my sci-fi TBR. Now let's get into fantasy. I'm going to start with the ones that I would not categorize as epic fantasy, but I don't really know what genre or subgenre they fit into. I try to not learn that much about the books before I read them. I don't like to be spoiled about anything, so I just have vague ideas. So let's start with Scalaman series by Naomi Novik. Love Temeraire. Want to see what she does with a magic school setting. M.A. Carrick's The Mask of Mirrors, the Rook and Rose series, Court Intrigue, supposed to be pretty different. Want to try it? Perdido Street Station by China Mieville. That's part of the, the Boss Log series. I think they're more like standalones, but not sure. Um, definitely want to try something part of the new weird. Discworld City Watch Books. I've just done Mort so far and didn't love it, but want to try other Discworld series. Max Gladstone's Three Parts Dead is supposed to involve a lot of lawyer stuff, uh, so be very different. Don't really know what to expect with that one. Marie Brennan's Natural History of Dragons. That's the Memoirs of Lady Trent series, and also supposed to be very different kind of fantasy. Blake Crouch's Wayward Pines. Uh, this is probably more like sci-fi thriller. Yeah, I don't even know what genre this is at all. I know so little about it, but I want to try some Blake Crouch. Roger Zelazny's Amber series, Amber, Chronicles of Amber. Yeah, this is uh, Nine Princes of Amber. I have heard very strange things about this series. I want to check it out for myself, and I have no clue. I think it's a genre bender. Robert Jackson Bennett's Divine Cities trilogy with City of Stairs here. And then something that I think is more historical fantasy, kind of its own mini genre. This is David Gemmel's Troy trilogy. Here with Lord of the Silver Bow, book one. I l think I'm going to love this as an ancient Greek enthusiast. All right, then we have Under the Northern Sky Trilogy by Leo Carew. This might be epic fantasy, but not too sure. Jade City, that's the Greenbone Saga. This might be one of my highest priorities. I think it's going to be a big hit with me. Josiah Bancroft's Books of Babel. Heard lots of mixed things. Very excited to try something different in the genre. The Dark Tower by Stephen King. This is a very prominent one in the fantasy genre. I want to see what it's all about. And Guy Gavrokay writes mainly standalones. I think he's going to be an author I love. This is a duology, the Sarantine Mosaic with Sailing to Sarantium and then Lord of Emperors being next. think I'm going to likely love it. Then we have Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I think I was more enthusiastic to try this when I had not yet read the first binding, which might have soured me on the coming-of-age chronicling tale for a while. But want to get into the King Killer Chronicle. Maybe I'll wait till uh, maybe it looks like book three is closer to being published. And then City of Lies by Sam Hawk. I think this is more like a court intrigue type fantasy with the main character being a poisoner. I know very little about it, but I'm interested to try. All right, folks, let's get to the epic fantasy. That's my bread and butter. That's really what I love sinking my teeth into for long periods of time. I get totally immersed in these secondary worlds, these epic, high-stakes adventure stories. So here we go. Which one of these would you recommend I try? This is the Five Warrior Angel series by Brian Lee Durfee, The Forgetting Moon, book one. The Dagger and the Coin series by Daniel Abraham. I've been loving The Expanse. Can't wait to try Daniel Abraham's solo stuff. The Winnowing Flame trilogy. This is The Ninth Reign by Jen Williams. The Lycanius trilogy by James Eilington. I've seen a lot of people reading this recently. With his new series coming out next year, or this year, I want to catch up and make sure I see what his writing's all about. Here is The Coward by Stephen Arian, book one of the Quest for Heroes duology. Then there's The Long Price Quartet by Daniel Abraham. I think this is book two, Betrayal in Winter. A classic in the genre. That's 
the Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn trilogy by Tad Williams, but really the beginning of the whole Ostin R saga, which I really want to get into. Look at that great Michael Whalen cover. The Nevernight trilogy by Jay Kristoff. Very polarizing. I want to see where I come down. Never Die, that's book one of the Mortal Techniques series by Rob J. Hayes. Haven't read too much real Asian-inspired type stories. Codex Alera by Jim Butcher. I think this is book four. I'm interested to see what his more traditional epic fantasy is like. Blackwing, that's the Raven's Mark trilogy by Ed McDonald. The Reborn Empire by Devin Madsen. Then there's Cushiel's Dart by Jacqueline Carey. Not sure if this series has a name, but it has a sequel series. It's a big, long saga. Fireborn by Rosaria Munda. This is YA, I think, so very different from what I normally read. I also have no clue what series that's part of. And then The Cloud Rose, book one in the Books of the Raxura by Martha Wells. Really like Murderbot. I want to see what she does in fantasy. Between Earth and Sky series by Rebecca Roanhorse, Black Sun, book one. Love the idea of a pre-Columbian America's inspired fantasy. And we have... The Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. Here's the fifth season, book one. It uh, gets a lot of love, but also a little bit polarizing. Very intrigued by that. And then there's the Pact and Pattern series by J.T. Greathouse. The Hand of the Sun King, book one, got a lot of love. So, very interested. Promise of Blood, that's book one of the Power Mage Trilogy by Brian McClellan. I've not read anything by him, but a disciple of Brandon Sanderson is someone I definitely want to try. Here's The Traitor Sun Cycle by Miles Cameron. Red Knight is the book one. I think this is very historical type fantasy, maybe. The Great Coats by Sebastian de Castell. Here's Traitor's Blade. This is supposed to be a swashbuckling, good fun, kind of lots of friendship kind of vibe to it. So uh, they're short, and lots of people really love it. Here's one that's very high priority. It's been getting so many rave reviews now that it's all done. That is The Dandelion Dynasty by Ken Liu. Here's Grace of Kings book one. Seems like it's going to be a really incredible ride, so want to get to that one. I know how insane this TBR is. We're in the home stretch here, so here we go, rapid fire. The Magic of Recluse by L.E. Modsit Jr. I see these all over the place at used bookstores. It's a huge series with great classic Daryl K. Sweet covers. And here's a couple series from J.V. Jones. This is the Book of Words series with the Baker's Boy book one. And then the Ca a Cavern of Black Ice, A Sword of Shadows is the series. And then here's a classic in the genre. That's Raymond Feist's Rift War Saga with Magician being the beginning. The Inda Quartet by Sherwood Smith. The Black Company by Glenn Cook. Crown of Stars series by Kate Elliott. Legends of the First Empire by Michael Sullivan. The Rigante series by David Gemmell. I've started Janai. This is from later in his career, and I think it's supposed to be really good. The Wars of Light and Shadow by Jenny Wirtz. It's starting to get some play on BookTube now as a really deep epic series. Really want to dive into that. Path to Ascendancy by Ian C. Esselmont. Those are the prequel books to the Molasm Book of the Fallen series. It's supposed to be a really cool trilogy. Some classic 90s fantasy with the Rune Lords by David Farland. Love the premise of this one with people being able to donate some of their attributes. And then the nobility who takes on these attributes has to keep them safe. Because if those people are killed who have donated their sight to improve the nobleman's sight... Then, uh, oh, I don't know who this is. Uh, then, if they die, then they lose their, their boosted attributes. So, cool magic premise there. The Masquerade series by Seth Dickinson. This is the Traitor Barra Cormorant, the first book. The Second Apocalypse series. This is The Darkness That Comes Before by R. Scott Baker. And that's the Prince of Nothing trilogy to start out the whole Second Apocalypse. And then Robin Hobb's Soldier Sun Trilogy. I've just read the Farseer Trilogy, so I also have to continue on with her. The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. No clue what that series is, but it's all done now. The World of the Five Gods by Lois McMaster Bujold. That's Curse of Chalian, the first book. 
And then Ship of Magic, that's the Live Ship Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb. I really, really need to continue on in that series. And then the Shadow Campaigns by Django Wexler. There's the Thousand Names. This is the novellas of Steven Erickson in the Malazan World. That's the Tales of Bashlane and Corbel Brooch. And then the Empire Trilogy by both Jenny Wirtz and Raymond Feist. The Founders Trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. The Fire Sacraments by Robert V.S. Reddick. That's Master Assassins. I think there's two books out in that uh, cover has been heavily criticized as not representative of this adult fantasy work, but Mark Lawrence and other authors seem to really love it. Reddick's earlier series, The Red Wolf Conspiracy. And lastly, The Echoes of the Fall trilogy by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I think taking place in the same universe is one of my favorite series of all time, Shadows of the App. So these are all of the books that are on my series TBR. Help me out with your favorites from this video. These don't even include standalones or series that just have a book one out. So my TBR is obscene, it's out of control, but help me prioritize. Tell me which of these are your favorites of all time that you've seen. All right, and hopefully you'll see me reading some of these in this upcoming year. All right, see you later.